Well, I, 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 I see. I see the conspiracy theories. I have people sending them to me all the time. I, I, I walk through it. Every single conspiracy theory is easily disproven in about two or three minutes. Every single one. You know, every single one. And, and, and yet, they don't want to go on Google. They don't want to know the truth. They, wa they, they want to know what, what's true to them. They want to know their truth. And their truth is this election was rigged. Well, why don't you just Google this? And why don't you just look at the election returns? I mean, I, I, could, I could tick down the list of conspiracy theories. They're ridiculous. At some point, I guess we need to do a package. We need to put it all together to show just how stupid these conspiracy theories are. And they really do. They go to the I point of where... I don't think we have a long enough show yeah, they, they go to the point, as Willie keeps bringing up, this bamboo, this bamboo group. You know, this, this bamboo ninja who is saying bamboo is in the, is in the paper. And so, so uh, China sent the ballots over. And it's, Rick, it's just such nonsense that they think Republicans running Arizona, Maricopa County, and Republicans running the Georgia election are going to rig those elections. And you look at the vote counts county by county, and it's just lazy and it's stupid. It's a lazy, stupid conspiracy theory. And I say it's lazy because all people would have to do is just do about five minutes of investigating when they see these lies spewed at them, and they would know the truth, but they don't want to know the truth. But you know, Bible verse where you know said people who could walk in darkness and light, and they can even know the difference between darkness and light and still choose darkness. That's what's happening here. People could know the difference between the truth and the lies. They don't want you to tell them the truth. They don't want to investigate for five minutes. They want to wallow in the lie that allows them to think horrible things about American democracy, that allows them to do things that is that are far worse than desecrating the American flag, that's far worse than kneeling on sidelines before football games. What they're doing is they're desecrating democracy. They're desecrating American institutions. They're desecrating all the things that the American flag is a symbol of. So you will fight to the death for the symbol. You just won't give a damn for a second about the thing that symbol stands for. Madisonian democracy, the Constitution of the United States, the people's house, mm -hmm. the center of democracy, not just in America. But across the globe. So you're going to freak out over somebody not paying enough respect for a symbol. But you're just going to, I'll just say, throw dirt all over everything that symbol represents. And you do it every day. I mean, this is January 6th. They, you do it every, this is not about Joe Biden. This stopped being about Joe Biden a long time ago. This is about you. This is about you playing in to what every one of our enemies wants you to play into. That American democracy is not worth being trusted. That American democracy is no different than Russia. If you believe that, mm -hmm. I will say to you what many of you said in the 1960s, America, love it or leave it. If you don't have respect in American democracy anymore, if you don't respect Madisonian checks and balances, if your guy doesn't win, if that's the new rules of engagement for this great republic, then just leave our country because you're unworthy of it. And there are millions of immigrants who will come here and raise their right hand and buy into the creed and believe that we are exceptional, that believe American democracy is the greatest government on the face of the earth. And they will do it proudly. They will salute the flag proudly. And most importantly, they will fight for what that flag represents while you shame yourself. 
Well, you disgrace yourself. Well, you disgrace our country in the eyes of the world. Yes, this is all on you. Get the facts, live in the light, follow the truth, and love this country and stop this. Or leave, or leave. If you're going to believe a reality TV show hosts lies about the American Republic, is desecration of American exceptionalism, then just get the hell out. We don't want you here. That's all I gotta say. You couldn't have said it better. Well,